Well, the first thing I would do is invent a time machine and go back into the past with ventilated tree shelters and oust herbicide, which would have made uh, tree establishment much easier if we had had them 26 years ago. Uh, but without those, uh, we should have done a lot better trying to uh, control weed competition against the trees and establish a better ground cover in between the trees. The tree shelters and the oust herbicide are game changers as far as getting trees established. What I'd like to see is these kinds of perennial polyculture systems planted on lots of small farms rather than uh, a large industrial industrialization of this kind of system, but I'll, I'll settle for whatever we can get. Anything that results in high biodiversity and 100% perennial ground cover to prevent soil erosion uh, will be the most important thing to accomplish. Our reason for getting into this originally was to show that uh, agriculture could be done without soil erosion and uh, large quantities of toxic chemicals and uh, large uh, <coughs> investments in fossil fuels and expensive equipment. We wanted to provide an example of uh, a better way of doing agriculture. In order to do that, we had to prove that it could make money and that's been the struggle over the years. And it's just within the last few years that we've actually turned the corner and made this uh, a very profitable business. We made lots of mistakes along the way. I think, I think we made all of the mistakes that can possibly be made along the way and learned a lot. And now we know how to do it. <laughs>